Hey guys, Gabe here, that guy, Breadstick, and welcome back to another Pokemon series. This is Pokemon Platinum version. So, if you guys don't know anything about me, I actually started my entire YouTube career for Pokemon with Platinum, but it didn't really go anywhere because um, I got to the fifth gym, and then um, I'm skipping that, those two pieces of dialogue while I'm doing my intro. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I guess there... No, I didn't read any of this, and because I'm doing Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, um, Kate, e Egglock, Cage Lock right now, so that's kind of taking up this, but I probably will get past that. Um, I'm trying to think, but yeah, I started my entire playthrough with this, but then um, my after the fifth gym, all my progress got reset to the second gym, so I was like, oh, I don't really want to do it, so I picked up Pokemon Coliseum, started there, and that's kind of where we are today. So I thought it I owe it to myself and to the rest of my fans to play Pokemon Platinum again. And because, you know, we're gonna, gonna play one through every single general Pokemon main game release. And um yeah, I mean we're almost done we're we finished every other DS game, so I think it we owe it to ourselves to play this one. So that's what we're gonna do. Um we're gonna play through Pokemon Platinum instead of Diamond Pearl, since we're already doing that for Egglock Cage Lock. And I already technically played through Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, which are just just straight remakes of the game. Um, like I did Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I'll probably do Emerald. Um, since I did Heart Gold Soul Silver, I'll probably do Crystal. Um, I already did Yellow, so I'll probably do Red and Blue. And then probably do one Red, one Leaf Green, something like that. But we'll see when GBA comes around. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I got any go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. No info needed. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the Pokeball on the button bu uh, the middle of the Pokeball, if you please. We can do that. And it's a Benary. I don't know if it's Benary in Diamond and Pearl too. Um, but anyways. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? I don't know why, but the faces look so poorly made compared to in Diamond and Pearl. It's like, just repurpose that one one and just change the outfits but i'm gonna go with um the boy because on my main series games i always go with the boy so we're gonna name you breadstick but again with these ds games 3d or er, gba games they don't give you more than seven characters we have to take out the vowels and we are breadstick Birthic. all right yep that is my name okay so you're breadstick a fine name that is and now this boy here i believe he's your friend what might his name be? And like how I do all my other playthroughs, um, because Andrew, my good friend, does a lot of great Pokemon content with me on both channels. So we are going to name. Oh, I did spell it right. And yeah, well, I don't know why it looked weird with this type of font, but his name is Andrew. So that's what we're going to name you, Andrew. Is it that's your friend's name? Yes, it is. All right, Breadstick, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that you, along the way, will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. And we shrink down to chibi form. No, it's not chibi form. I'm just saying chibi form because of the other thing. Oh, yeah, we had the Pokemon by our size always... Uh, are by our sides always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. And that concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan, brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide TV. See you next time, same time, same channel. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, like at the start of every Pokemon game, we gotta change our text to fast, and we gotta change our frames. I don't like any of these. I just wanted a purple one. Uh, I'll go with this one. There we go. And let's go. Oh, 
or, or Andrew's here. There you are. Hey, Breadstick, did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Bronwyn is that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means we must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? Uh, where was I? Oh, right, right. We're going to see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Breadstick, if you're late, I'm going to find you one million dollars. Alright. I feel like this is a lot louder than whenever I play on um, Pokemon on my 3DS because that's just too quiet. Breadstick, Andrew already left. I don't know what it was about, but he was sure in a hurry. Okay, Mom. Oh, yes, Breadstick, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon won't be there. It will be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so, well, take care, sweetie. Damn, Mom, gotta be such a Debbie Downer. I forgot in this game, there is, like, snow. That's why he's dressed all differently, because it's, it's like, winter-ish time. Um, uh, so this is Andrew's house, so I guess we gotta... Oh, dude. What was that about? Oh, hey, Breadstick. Hey, I'm glad to see Professor Rowan. You should come, too, and quickly. Oh, jeez. Forgot about something. Alright. I might actually turn it down. It is a little loud. Um... There we go. I think that's a little better. All right. I have really sensitive ears, guys, so I do apologize if, like, the audio is different compared to um, how I receive it, but it is really loud to me. I better take my bag and journal, too. Oh, hey, Brightstick. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a million-dollar fine if you're late. I love how we have to move out of the way every single time for Barry just because, like, he's always in a rush somewhere, man. Alright. Let's go ahead and head up. And Route 201. Here we are. Too slow. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Lauren's lab. Wait. Don't go in the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you get into the tall grass? So, what do you do is you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sand Gym Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here it goes. On your mark. Hold it! You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Hey, Breadstick, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. It is right for me to put them on that path. You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? Yes, me too. I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, Breadstick? Yeah. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly tried to enter the tall grass with a Pokemon of their own. It worries me when pe what people like that would do with their Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh... Well then, forget about me, but give... All right. Well then, forget about me, but give my Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to get into the tall grass and all. How big of you. Very well then, I won't trust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never again recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Hmm. Where? Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Is something wrong here? Ah, there it is. Dawn, nice work. Well, I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? Those Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time where people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should okay, for the today is the time that place that right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan? I can't believe it. I'm so happy now that I can keep a straight face. Hey, Brightstick, you can choose first. I'm, particu I'm particularly a grown-up. I have to show some class here. 
All right, so if you guys didn't already watch that series, I'm going to keep basically the same team that I used that series, um, which will require me to pick Jim Jar. Um, because in my Blaine and Diamond Strang Pro, I picked her twig, and I don't know, just didn't pick people up in that series. So we're going to pick Jim Char, keeping it st straight, same series. Then I choose you. I'm picking this Piplup. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have entrusted with are unfamiliar with this world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to this world, I hope you'll do work together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sand Gym Town. And now we'll be on our way. Bun -dum, bun -dum, dum. Professor, wait for me, please. I'm sorry. Please let me pass. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and... I don't remember what it said. Movie 100% real? Don't remember what it said. But we out here, you know? I mean, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Anyways, let's keep going. Um... Uh... Da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Ah, uh, sure. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Breadstick, I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. Alright. Alright, so we got a Chimchar versus our Piplup. So let's go ahead and do that. What in the- the one- that one hurt you? Well, wasn't supposed to be nice. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't supposed to be nice, man. Alright. Let's go ahead and scratch. How do I get rid of a strike through? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Strike through. Alright. Shift, alt. Shift key, alt, shift, five. There we go. I got rid of it. Perfect. All right. This is a little bit of a shh, slow battle, but I guess I also... Uh, yeah. Sorry. A little too short for me. I'm dead. Yeah. Well. I'll take it. <laughs> I won. I won. With the battle, it could have gone either way. It was that close. I could tell you one thing. Battling is awesomely fun. Okay, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon need rest too. See ya, Breadstick. Alright. I mean, I'll take it. I just wanted to get out of that battle to more, more or less. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Andrew are lucky to have met Professor Bowen. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think that what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Perfect. Stick. Go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Shan Sand Gym Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know, Breadstick. Put these on. I'll take a pair of running boots, man. Alright. Um, I don't need the instructions. Alright, so, yeah. Just, just gotta speed past the parts we don't need, you know? Too slow, Breadstick. I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that play lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's try to catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of that. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. I like how we, like, stride when we run. And Barry just moves, like, his little feet. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're going to capture that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. It even says on the sign. What's going on? The flowing time. The expanding space. It will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Allow me to pass. Step aside. What was that about, weird guy? Okay, Breadstick, let's try to catch that legendary Pokemon. D 
Did you hear that, Breadstick? That was the legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, let's. this is our chance. Let's try to catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs. P-O-K balls. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rowan would give us some if we asked him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we needed anything. Okay, Breadstick, I'll race you. First one to the Professor's lab is San, Ch San Jim Town Rules. Alright. So I guess we'll head over there. Dum bum dum bum dum ba dum bum dum bum dum bum. Oh. And we got a Starly. Interesting. I thought it was going to be a Bidoof or something else, but I don't know. Um, but since we didn't get any XP from that battle, let's go ahead and do this one. It feels like the bar is going a little bit faster than it did in um, Diamond Eminent and Heart Gold Soul Silver, so I'm chilling. Alright. Let's keep moving. Dum bum dum bum dum bum dum bum dum bum bum. All right, another Starly. I think I'm just gonna run from the rest of the Starlies because we're running out of time for this episode. I wanted to get a lot done in this episode with the store with the big stuff, like with the early game stuff. So let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. What the? Oh, it's you, Breadstick. That old guy, he's not so scary as much as he is totally out there. Uh, it doesn't matter, Breadstick. I'm out of here. See you later. Wow, what was that? Your, sh your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Damn. Dawn's just, like, out here, you know? Just, like, calling people out. But, I mean, you do you. I don't know. Well, well, look who's here. Breadstick, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm, and trusting you with the Chimchar was no mistake. It was. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, we would. Like Infernape. I don't know. I just... Infer... No... I don't know what my mind was thinking back in the beginning of 2021, but we're gonna go with it. Hmm, <clears throat> okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Yeah, sure, why not? When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was furious. I was astonished by these fully hearted children. But now, you've astonished me in an entirely different way. Alrighty, there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Chimchar feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that Chimchar of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind of toward you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. I oughta slug you. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to wish that I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. We'll use it to record data of all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me. Good answer. Alright. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Breadstick, I ask that you go everywhere and meet, meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I got one too. When you walked up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I lived for 60 long years. Oh no. I lived for 60 long years, even though I got a thrill when it, I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should do that there. Our countless Pokemon in this world, and that means there are just ma as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Breadstick, your grand adventure. That Pokemon I met for the first time was Turtwig. If you... If you would have chosen a Turtwig on Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Now, it ma now that it matters. But anyway, I'm Dawn. I also help the Pokemon. Er, I also help the Professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just get a little head start on you. That's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Breadstick. All right. 
Breadstick! I have something good here. You should take this as well. TM27. That is a technical machine. That one contains the move return. Using a technical machine or TM for short teaches a move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that is a TM single use only. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with the wish that your journey will be fun. Oh, wow. I didn't even know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, Breadstick, I'll act as your mentor. I'll give you a bit more experience than you as a trainer and the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Okay, you're gonna tell me this is the Pokemon Center, and I don't really care. And this one's the Pokemon Mart. Um, but, um, don't you need to let your family know that you're going to help Professor Rowan with your Pokemon? Um, probably. That'd be a good idea. Um, I'm just gonna speed over there, because I don't really care. Um, that much. Um, where's Mother? There you are, Mother. Um, thanks for the rest. I'm going off on my big adventure. Thank you for the journal. Um, yeah, cool. Oh, well, Barry's mom, or Andrew's mom came in. Um, needs me to deliver something to him. I mean, the parcel with, um... Yeah, stuff. Um... And we're just gonna, like... We're just gonna speed through this. Alright. Bidoof. And we're almost dead, dude. Oh, that was not a smart idea. But, um, yeah. But with that being said, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Once you join that breadstick talent, make sure to check my other channels in the description below. Make sure to check out my Twitch, my Discord, and my other social media. But besides that, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.